Welcome friends. In this video, we will demonstrate to you how to start with the AutoCAD 2014 uh, for, uh, the, uh, for the two dimensional drawings. So, so we will demonstrate how to uh, use the commands listed on your screen. So, to start with, what we do is uh, so we right click on the grid button here at the bottom so grid display so we right click here type uh, click the settings button again so we see that so there is uh, uh, adaptive grid which is checked so you uncheck that similar way display grid beyond limits this also is to be unchecked next is uh, we have to see that 2D model space is checked as shown here. Then snap should be checked and the snap size has to be changed to 0.25. Similarly, the grid size is to be changed to 0.25. You will change it at one place, it will automatically change at the other place. And the grid should be on. So this also uh, should be 0.25. Right. Now that is the spacing, grid spacing and uh, that's it. So we are ready with the screen. Now the limits. The limits are to be set with the first point as 0 0 which is at in any way there so we simply press enter here the next point should be 27 comma 10 so it is also at present same 27 comma 10 uh, that is the uh, limits of the screen that you have to use so to so this way you will put if some other number is displayed but in the present case I can simply press enter but for your convenience the way I have to give the input to this command is has been demonstrated 27 comma 10 simply I'll type like this and press enter so now it has taken the limits after this I will need to zoom the screen so whole of the screen on which is uh, uh, there in the limits that may not be displayed so I can type zoom and then I can say zoom all A for all there are several options here I can put all and my zoomed screen will be displayed so then uh, I can start working on the other command the line command line command is the most basic command so to use line command I can simply use L L, L will read as the AutoCAD will read it as line. So line command, it will ask first point. I can pick any point here. Please note that the cursor is moving only at the grid points. The grid point is uh, the basic uh, uh, unit that we use in engineering graphics course. So. So it's uh, it is 0.25 AutoCAD units, and uh, we the, the scale that we use is 0.25 AutoCAD units, or one grid space is equal to 25 millimeters. Otherwise, so 25 millimeters is taken as one grid space. That is the scale we are using. So let us say I have to draw a line 100 mm long. So that is 25, 25, 25, 25. This is 100 mm long line so if i want to make a scare so this way i can proceed so you note that the at present the snap is on that is why my cursor is stopping stopping only at the grid points so i am accurately able to draw the 100 mm long lines you can say 100 mm is one grid one autocad unit though it is four grid spaces so we have one AutoCAD unit lying as the side of this scale, which is 100 mm. So 
this is uh, uh, now now if the snap is off I can type snap and uh, it has an option of putting it off I can put that off using F9 key also so I am putting the snap off in that case you note when the line command I use I do, I do not reach the grid point accurately so I may be somewhere here so I do not have a way of drawing it accurately that is so this explains me the usefulness of the snap command so the lines though I have drawn so they are not accurate okay so grid also helps the snap also helps grid helps in uh, helps me in uh, drawing the grid and snap both help me in drawing accurately whatever is to be drawn so if grid is off then the screen doesn't have any dots it will only have the snaps if uh, it may be possible that uh, you put the grid off by f7 command so grid will be off grid will not be shown otherwise when you take a print so grid is just for uh, drawing purpose the snap if the snap is on for uh, putting the snap on I can use f9 command snap is on uh, without the grid you can see it becomes little difficult for us to count the grids though I, it is not impossible so I can draw that uh, scale like this again so putting the grid on you can see I could draw but it may be, it was a little difficult this is the usefulness of uh, grid and snap now suppose if I want to draw accurately in between the grid some point or some line or I want to draw a square like this so uh, so one way is I look for putting the snap off by F9 command and I try to draw the scare like that but you know it is all it is bound to be very inaccurate so this is not the solution what I do so I can use the snap command and change the snap size to half of it so what will I get through this you will see that initially with the cursor was moving only from grid to grid but now it is stopping exactly at the middle of the grid so that will also help me to draw the things accurately in between the grids so this is the thing which you need to be aware of where if you want to draw the things accurately this was about the line command so line command you can uh, use in another way also that we will uh, discuss uh, later on so now the other command is arc command how the arc command is used normally you prefer it through the center method so you draw the center uh, arc command after that you, you choose the option of center you choose the center somewhere you note that uh, uh, this is the center first after that the starting point and the ending point so this way you can complete the arc please note that the arc will be drawn in the anti-clockwise direction so with commands so we will explain in the next video so we stop here for this video